Good day, Mahu Science Learners! Today, we are going to discuss about comparison of mitosis and meiosis and their roles in the cell division cycle. Brace yourself for an exciting learning and activities here at Episode 2 of Science 8 in Quarter 4. Your learning is on the way! For today's lesson, we are going to compare mitosis and meiosis and their role in the cell division cycle. At the end of this discussion, you are able to say that I can identify the two types of cell division, enumerate the stages of mitosis, and give the importance of cell division in living organisms. Let us test how far is your understanding about our discussion for today by answering this pretest. Number 1. It is a thread-like structure of nucleic acids and protein found in the nucleus of most living cells, carrying the genetic information in the form of genes. A. Gene B. DNA C. Chromosome D. Centriole Number 2. The blank is the initial phase of cell division. A. Prophase B. Interphase C. Metaphase D. Telophase Number 3. How many daughter cells reproduce after mitotic cell division? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Number 4. It is a unit of heredity which is transferred from a parent to offspring and is held to determine some characteristic of the offspring. A. Gene B. DNA C. Chromosome D. Centriole Number 5. The following are the importance of mitotic cell division except blank. A. Growth B. Repair C. Replacement D. Reproduction Let us review our previous lesson by giving the name of the picture flash on your screen. Are you familiar in this specific cell? You can comment down your answer. You are correct! This is an animal cell. And what is the name of this cellular component? which is considered as the control center of the cell. You got it right! This is the nucleus. Did you know that aside from being the control center, a nucleus plays an important role in securing genetic materials of an organism? You heard it right! The composition of the nucleus are the genetic materials of an organism such as chromosome, deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA, and the gene. By simply looking at these sentences, can you give the exact definition of each genetic materials? I will be giving you 30 seconds to think about it. And your timer starts now. Let us check if your answers are correct. Chromosome is a thread-like structure of nucleic acids and protein found in the nucleus of most living cells, carrying the genetic information in the form of genes. While DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid is a molecule that contains the instructions of an organism that needs to develop, live, and reproduce. And gene is a unit of heredity which is transferred from a parent to offspring and is held to determine some characteristic of the offspring. These materials plays an important role in the process of cell division. Did you know that there are unique number of chromosomes in different organisms? And we, the Homo sapiens or humans, 
has a total of 46 numbers of chromosomes or 23 in pairs that are placed inside the nucleus of trillions of cells in our body. That's a lot of numbers. And what is now the importance of cell division? Even though we cannot see this process in our body, these questions can answer its importance. Why do strands of hair grow? Why do finger and toenails grow fast after you cut it? What is the reason you become smaller or taller than your height when you are 6 years old? Why do wounds heal after a week or month? And why do organisms reproduce? It is all because of the cell division. There are two specific cells involved in this process. The somatic cell or also known as the body cell. Example of those are the red blood cells, leukocytes, platelets, bone cells, and brain cells. And there are different body cells. The other one is the reproductive cell or the gametes. There are only two types of gametes the egg cell and sperm cell. We called it as mitosis if the type of cell division is intended for body cells. It is very important for the growth, repair, and replacement of somatic cells. On the other hand, meiosis is the cell division for gametes, which is its main purpose is only for reproduction. Before we proceed to the main cycle, let us identify these parts that we will encounter later. The spindle fiber, the centriole, the chromatid, which is a single stranded chromosome. The sister chromatids or chromosomes and the daughter cells. We will now enter the process of cell division. This first phase is the initial phase or the preparatory stage and the longest phase of cell division. This is where the cellular contents are getting ready in the process and this is called as the interface let us start with g1 phase or the gap phase one from which the cellular contents excluding the chromosomes are doubled or duplicated next is the s phase or the synthesis phase each of the 46 chromosomes is duplicated by the cell the G2 or gap phase 2, in which the cell double checks the duplicated chromosomes for error. After this, the cell is now ready to proceed in the process of mitosis. Prophase, which is the first stage of mitosis, is the preparatory stage. During prophase, centrioles move toward the opposite side of the nucleus. Next is the metaphase. It is when chromosomes become arranged so that their centromeres become aligned in one place, halfway between the two spindle poles. The long axis of chromosomes are 90 degrees to the spindle axis, and the plane of alignment is called the metaphase plate. Next to it is the anaphase, wherein it is initiated by separation of sister chromatids at their junction point at the centromere. The daughter chromosomes then move toward the poles. And the last part is the telophase. It is when the daughter chromosomes complete their migration to the poles. The two sets of progeny chromosomes are assembled into two groups of the opposite ends of the cell. 
The chromosomes uncoil and assume their extended form during the interface. A nuclear membrane then forms around each chromosome group and the spindle microtubules disappear. Soon, the nucleolus reforms. And after the mitotic cell division, from single cell, there are now two diploid daughter cells which has the same cellular contents and has 46 number of chromosomes. That's amazing! For you to easily recall the stages of mitosis, just simply use this acronym PMAT. P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. Let us now summarize your learnings for today. All you have to do is to give the answers for each question. You may comment down your answers. What are the names of these genetic materials inside the nucleus? How many chromosomes are there in a human cell? It is the initial stage of cell division. What is the proper sequence of mitotic cell division? After the mitotic cell division, how many daughter cells are produced? Good job learners! Let us now check your understanding about our discussion for today. You may write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. It is a thread-like structure of nucleic acids and protein found in the nucleus of most living cells, carrying genetic information in the form of genes. A gene, B DNA, C chromosome, D centriole. Number 2. The blank is the initial phase of cell division. A prophase, B interphase, C. Metaphase D. Telophase Number 3 How many daughter cells reproduce after mitotic cell division? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Number 4 It is a unit of heredity which is transferred from a parent to offspring and is held to determine some characteristic of the offspring. A gene, B DNA, C chromosome, D centriole. Number 5. The following are the importance of mitotic cell division except blank. A growth, B repair, C replacement, D reproduction. Here is the list of the correct answers.